Hi, welcome to another video. Since Anthropic released their new Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, people have been going insane over its coding capabilities. This model is extremely capable and can handle most tasks you can imagine. I've already made two videos about it and even created a co-pilot using it, which was pretty incredible. But today, I'll be showing you how to create full applications with it using just one text prompt. Yes, you can simply write the application you want to generate, and it can build it in seconds. Whether it's a desktop application, web application, game, or anything else you can think of. This is all achieved using agents via a repository called Maestro. Maestro is a framework for orchestrating subagents with Claude Opus, GPT, and local LLMs. Basically, it can do whatever task you prompt it to, whether it be generating applications, essays, research, or anything. And the way it does it is pretty cool. It uses the agentic system to do it. If you're an AI follower, you'll know what it means. But if you don't know what an agentic system is, let me explain it to you quickly. In a generic system, you give the LLM a task, and it will do that task and give you the result back. But, in an agentic system, if you give an LLM a task, it will first go to the LLM, where it will be asked to generate an outline of how the task needs to be executed and break down your task into multiple steps. This step is often done by a superior model called the orchestrator. Once done, the application will then use the broken down steps to feed into the LLM again. This time the LLM used may be smaller than the orchestrator model to save costs, but sometimes the same model is used. The model used in this step is called the subagent. Then, the output from the LLMs is taken by the refiner model, which checks if the output is correct and if anything needs to be refined. It then adds all of the outputs in one place to produce the final output. This method is considered superior because the tasks are done step by step, increasing the quality of the outputs. These steps are done iteratively, and they keep getting checked by another model and refined until we get a great output. This is the same method that this Maestro repo applies. It breaks down an objective into manageable subtasks with the Opus model. But we'll be using it with the Sonnet model. It then executes each subtask with a Haiku model, providing the Haiku model with memory of previous subtasks for context. It refines the subtask results into a final output using the Opus model. I'll be using it only with the Sonnet model in all the steps to get the best results. Also, the best part is that it's just one Python file, which is amazing. So, let's get it set up now. First, clone this repo to your computer. Once done, navigate into the folder. Now, we'll need to set up API keys. To do that, go to the Maestro Python file. In the API key section, enter your Claude API key. If you want to save some money, you can change the subagent model to Haiku. But, if you don't want to save money, you can just use it as is. I'll be using it in default mode with all the subagents as Sonnet, and the orchestrator will also be Sonnet. Now, we'll install the necessary packages. You can run the command shown on the screen, and all the packages should get installed. Once done, we can now use it. To use it, just run the Maestro file, and you'll be asked what you want to do. Let's ask it to create a web snake game in HTML and JavaScript. If I send it here, you can see that it asks if we want to give it a file, which in this case, we don't. Next, it asks if you want it to make a web search. For this, you'll need to set up a Tavli API key. In our case, I don't want to do it, so we'll say no and hit enter. Now, it starts the tasks. As you can see, it first creates multiple subtasks and then gives those tasks to subagents. 
it says that it's giving it to haiku, but actually, it's giving it to sonnet as we have that model set up. This is a static label here. Anyway, it goes like this for a little while. A few minutes later. Okay, now finally, the task has been finished. Now, if we go into the Maestro directory, you can see that we have a new folder here. If we go into this folder, you can see that we have the files here. It's actually pretty great. It puts everything in a folder and creates multiple files for better navigation. It's pretty cool. Anyway, now let's run it and check. Okay, so this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. I haven't seen any platform able to generate a whole thing like this. It is fully functional and works extremely well. It is 100% playable and even looks so cool. I'm not good at the snake game, which is another thing, but this application that it has created is really amazing. Now let's ask it to create a landing page. I am asking it to create a landing page that is modern and minimal. Let's send it and see. Okay, so it goes through all the steps. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, we have the code now. It's again put in a folder, and it's arranged, which is pretty cool. Let's run it and check. Hmm. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. It doesn't have the images, which is why it looks a little distorted. But if you add in your images and do some minor changes, it can look pretty cool and be really useful. Plus, you can always improve your prompts to get even better results. It's pretty cool. Now, I also want to create a fully usable application with it. So, let's ask it to make a to-do list application that stores data in the browser itself. Let's see if it can do that. Okay, so if I send it here, it goes through the same steps again, and we get the code now. Let's see it. Okay, it looks and functions well. This is a really cool tool. It can create almost anything you want, and it's not just limited to creating applications. You can also make it do research and whatnot. It's pretty cool. If you want to use it with Gemini or GPT-4.0, you can use the Any API Maestro file and configure your API key for whatever you want to use. It's pretty cool as well. I have tried it with GPT-4.0, and it also worked really well. But nothing beats Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So, now you can create your applications with just one prompt. It's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.